Hi, in this video I'm going to try out and compare 9 different AI video to mocap solutions. I recorded this clip with a static camera, indoors with some jumping and crouching. I'll test how the motion is captured and translated into animation. I'll also compare the pros and cons of each tool, along with their pricing. Let's get started. The first one I tested was deep motion. The output had noticeable issues. There was quite a bit of twitching, sliding and overall dynamics felt weak. The free version is limited, offering only 25 seconds of body animation or even less with finger tracking. The cheapest paid plan is $15, which isn't the most affordable and gives you 180 seconds of mocap. While deep motion may work for easy, simple motions or quick tests, it might not be the best choice for more complex animation needs. Next up is Plask Motion. The results were somewhat similar to Deep Motion, with twitching, sliding, and shaking. However, Plask stands out by offering more generous free usage 15 seconds of mocap per day. The lowest tier paid plan is $18 a month, which includes 10 minutes per month. While the quality isn't perfect, Plask could be a good starting point if you need a free or low cost option for generating many short clips. Next, we have Cascadeur. This is a full-featured animation software that recently added AI video to mocap capabilities. While the software itself is powerful, the mocap feature isn't as refined yet. The motion tends to lose some of its original energy, and there are occasional issues like twisting hips, floating feet, and no finger tracking. That said, Cascadeur excels in editing and cleanup tools, making it a strong option if you're comfortable using mocap as a rough base for further animation work. The first tool to produce consistently solid results was Quick Magic. It delivers smooth and accurate motion, decent foot placement and working finger tracking. More complex poses like kneeling or hands on the ground did cause some clipping and sliding, but overall it held up well. The free plan includes 50 seconds of mocap at 30 fps. The starter plan is $10 a month for 150 seconds, which is fairly affordable. And you can also purchase credits without a subscription. Quickmagic seems like a reliable option for blocking or building animation foundations on a budget. MoveAI produced similar results to Quickmagic but handled challenging poses such as hands or knees on the ground more accurately. The trade-off was slightly more noticeable foot sliding. The free tier offers 30 credits total and the starter plan is about twice the price of Quickmagic. If quality is your top priority, Move AI might offer better output, especially for more demanding movements, though it comes at a higher cost. Flow Studio by Autodesk has recently introduced a free plan with 30 seconds of mocap per month. It can generate motion data and even replace the actor in the video with a 3D character. One thing to note is that the output is relative to the camera. Meaning, if your footage includes camera movement, the character's animation will follow the camera rather than staying grounded. With a static camera, however, the animation behaves as expected. The quality is generally good, even for more difficult poses, though some foot sliding can occur. In terms of value, it's quite comparable to Quick Magic. This is an interesting solution that supports up to three cameras for improved accuracy. With just one camera, the results are decent. There's a bit of twitching in the limbs, but quality noticeably improves with more cameras. A big advantage is that the cameras don't need perfect synchronization. The system tolerates small delays, making it easier to set up. The free plan offers only one export per month, and the lowest paid plan is $25 and offers only one export per day. While it's on the pricier side, it may be worth it for complex motions that require capturing from multiple angles. Cartwheel is an AI tool known for generating animations from text prompts and it recently added video input as a feature. The motion output is very smooth, dynamic and accurate, including good finger tracking as long as the camera is static. It's still in early development, so pricing and export options aren't available yet, but the early results look promising. Cartwheel also allows you to mix video motion with prompt-based input, which could speed up animation work so significantly once fully released. 
the last one, Cyan Puppets, is a bit different. It's primarily focused on live streaming but also includes a video to mockup feature. Since that feature is still relatively new, the results aren't quite production ready. There's room for improvement in accuracy and stability. However, it's completely free for non-commercial use, both for video mockup and live streaming. It also supports real-time streaming to Unreal Engine, which might be useful for blocking out scenes directly in your environment. That said, it does require a somewhat complex setup with two identical webcams, which can also limit motion range. To sum up, each AI video to mockup tool has its strengths and weaknesses depending on your needs and budget. Some like Quick Magic, Flow Studio and Move AI offer solid results suitable for blocking and previs, while others like Cartwheel show a lot of promise but are still in development. Tools like Cascader are better suited for animators looking to build on rough mockup with strong editing capabilities. If you're just experimenting or need quick, low-cost solutions, options like Plask or Cyan Puppets might be enough. Hopefully, this comparison helps you choose the right tool for your project.